of the leadership of the African Action Congress has been drawn to the plot to reconstitute the River State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal, currently sitting in Port Harcourt. The leadership of the party has intercepted a letter written by one Mr. Tawo E. Tawo, SAN, on behalf of Mr. Awara Biokoro, Festus, the governorship candidate of our party at the 2019 general election, without consultation with the party and without notice to all other parties involved in the election petition to the President of the Court of Appeal seeking the constitution of the panel. This letter has been written. The national chairman of the party is unaware of this particular letter. How the letter was transmitted, the national party of the, the national chairman of the party is unaware. So I do not understand how a letter will be written relating to the party, which I am the chairman, and that letter will get to the, 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 court of, the president of the court of appeal without my notice or without my involvement in any way. We have had various fora complained about the hijack of the governorship ambition and risk of Mr. Awara in River State. Our worry is that why we do not have any worries anymore with what Mr. Awara does in his personal life. It is our worry and belief that in this obnoxious plot by Mr. Awara and his day masters, they have at every time dragged the good name of our great party into their evil plot. Our party is not going to reverse the governorship election with the intention to, to win as a presidential conference then do not allow us to, to campaign. Our party's candidate did not campaign. The party did not have a evidence in most of the polling in the states, even though we tried to do this. We have tried to see how we can check on all this, but we are still getting some feedback on all this. The party is concerned that this side of our governorship candidate by forces willing and ready to compromise the entire judiciary, and which we have done with the full consent of convenience of our former national chairman, Mr. Moele Shobre, are not in the interest of the people of Nigeria and the good people of River State particularly. Gentlemen of the press, the said letter by by Mr. Awara was surreptitiously sent to the office of the President of the Court of Appeal against the normal practice for the rest respondents and indeed all parties in the election petition to be copied, which I have noted there was not copied, I'm not aware of the letter. It must be mentioned that the order of the Court of Appeal did not also include the reconstitution of the tribunal that is to hear the matter as wrongfully contained in the letter. It must be mentioned that the order of the court appeal did not also include the reconstitution of the tribunal that is to hear the matter as strongly contained in the letter. Mr. Tawo E. Tawo, Sam, on behalf of Mr. Wara, had to, had, had to resume the hearing of the tribunal, acknowledged that the content of this letter were not correct and claimed that he was misled by asking and asking for the constitution of the, the panel as though it was what was ordered by the court. Moreover, if counsel to Mr. Wara has admitted the wrongful contents of the letter, no reasonable person will expect any other official action in acceding to the demands contained in the letter. More so, with just about 40 days left for the lifespan of the election petition, everybody should, should worry why the petitioner will be asking for a new panel and what hearted job the new panel will execute if it comes to be come to the noting that till date there is no allegation against the current panel, even by Mr. Awara. You all can imagine there's no allegation whatsoever against the current panel, yet you want them changed 40 days at the end of the life of this party petition. One wonders what is that that the members of the panel have been requesting to do, which they have refused to do, that now warrants this action. When this panel came, Mr. Awara claimed that the panel that would make him governor had come. What has changed? That I do not understand. We must note that the Court of Appeal gave its order that we must revert back to the tribunal and to hear the matter on merit and not the reconstitution of the panel. So I do not understand why the reconstitution of the panel should be made or the move by Awara and his team to go and meet the President of the Court of Appeal to request and ask that the panel be reconstituted. 40 days. 40 days before the end of the last month of that particular tribunal.